Oh, what is this? It says Fayance. Let's see, Fayance. Fayance, 18 piece set. I want in there. I want to see what it is. I got to get in there. leaving Goodwill last night they had this big giant Pikachu costume and it's not my niche it's not my niche at all but I went ahead and I did a little research when I got home and that made me do this yes I raced down here at opening time this morning and bought the Pikachu costume that sells for anywhere from 150 to 200 dollars I got it for 60 bucks and uh, I also came back and got the piece that goes with my treasure craft. Um, I got it all wrapped up here. Uh, you saw me, I'm like, oh, that's a nice quality flower. This goes with the treasure craft cactus dish. So I raced back and got that too. And I don't normally come back and get things, but the profit in this made it worthwhile. So that's it. I would spend five minutes here getting these two items. And now I'm off and running to another store. All right, I even have a model for Pikachu. Ah! <laughs> this is epic. <laughs> but you, but you left your feet in the car, Pikachu. You left your feet in the car. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I am at Goodwill. Surprise, surprise. I am trying something that I really need to get better at, and that is do more than one Goodwill in a day. I have a goal of getting to three. Now, you've seen me do multiple stores in, in, in one day before. So that's what I'm attempting to do again today, is get to three Goodwills, and I've already plotted my path and I am at the first one. I'm a little later than I thought I would be here. I wanted to get going on this one an hour ago, but that's my life. Uh, so I am going to go in and I'm going to stick with my pickiness like I am moving. So I need to really watch what I buy unless it can go straight down to our space at the vintage market. If it's something for eBay, I have to really question, is it something that's worth storing for a couple of months till I get eBay back up and running? That's the questions that are gonna be going in my mind. Is it a fast sale down like at the booth or is it something worth putting away? Those are like my two things going on. So with that, I'm gonna get in there and see what items they have that fit into that little protocol. So let's go get shop done. Oh, I think they're big red tag sales coming up, so pricing is probably going to reflect that. Let's pick out our lucky cart. Let's go with this one. So the Halloween is right up front, as usual. I'm looking, too, for things to decorate the booth with, because I keep selling things that I've decorated the booth with. So I may pick up some of these cute little little accent things here. They're only a dollar for the package. So maybe I'll, I kinda, I really like this one. Not so much the purple. I'm not, I'm not big on the purple. So I'm gonna get these three to take down and decorate the booth. And see what else is over here that might fit into that kind of thing. What are you? Oh, oh you just look like some fake string. And I'm also looking for things to use at home for decorating as well. So, I didn't mention that in my little intro too. I am looking for things for myself for decorating. I'm trying to figure out how old these are. I don't think they're that old. We got hanging ghosts. I do like those. Those are cute. We've got some classic 
spider webbage, although this, this is like gauze that you tear apart, which is pretty, this is nicer than like that fluff fluff stuff that is impossible to get off of everything when you're done. So I'm gonna get that. And those are gonna be for personal. This is like some banners and some little, it's like a kit to make these little things. I'm not gonna get that. I'm gonna get these two. See what else I'm missing here. This lights up, what? A door cover that lights up. Hmm. Interesting. Ooh, look at these guys. Cupcake stand. It's a cupcake stand. I don't think it's that old. I like it though. No, nope, I'm just gonna go with these two. I spotted these boo plates. Who makes these? Room Creative Signature Housewares 2011. Oh, look, it's more spiderweb stuff. Do I need more spiderweb stuff? Nah, I'm not gonna get that one. One spiderweb stuff is enough. He's, he feels very cheap. North American Bear Company, but he feels really flimsy and cheap. Ooh, you are a Halloween water globe. I don't know why somebody has you inside this, but you are super adorable. I don't know if you can see him. It's a skeleton and the floaties are little bats in the water globe. He's five bucks. I'm gonna get him. Here is a skeleton frog and a big rat. Happy Yamaween. That just doesn't, that doesn't work. Uh, this is, uh, it's a mouse stuck in a thing. Okay. And then I do like this pumpkin basket. I do like this. Don't be like a million dollars, because I want you. And you were a Harry and David, $7.99. How much are you now? What has Goodwill priced you at? There is no Goodwill price. So we are gonna have to find out on this one. I just found this. Now, I know it's not a pumpkin, but it's got the wide handle. It has some signs that it's got some age on it, and I'm just wondering I'm wondering how old this piece is, which is brew, but no matter how old it is, it's a good decorator piece. Again, not priced. I'm sure it's going to be like, you know, 99 cents, $1.99, so I'm going to pick that up. Oh, we are already on a roll with the Halloween stuff, aren't we? Little monsters, welcome here. Just a ceramic candy jar. And we have a witch candle holder. Oh, we got another... We have another cat. This one, decorative purposes only. Yeah, it doesn't do a lot for me, but look at this guy. It's paper mache. Paper mache for $4.99. Someone's gonna love that. Come in and get carved up. Jacko knives. <laughs> We've got some. Beware, go back. Ooh, I kinda, kinda like that one. Uh, what are you? Oh, another cupcake holder. Some scarecrows. Some little, but these are all plastic too, all these pieces here. That's just a little skeleton thing. It's got the scary vibe going. I'm not like, I don't like to personally decorate in the scary vibe. I'm not against anybody else doing it. It's just not my thing. I'm more like the friendly ghost, you know? The happy, you know, trick or treat. Like, you know, a little little happier, a little friendlier. A little friendlier vibe. These are just loose in here. I don't know if they're old or not. Don't know. These are, well, they were some bone lights. This might have been fun. And then we've got some more hanging ghosts. Let's see. Oh, we've got lots of these cupcake holders. 
photo booth kit. Oh, photo booth kit. This, this gets my mind going like, oh, what could we do with that? Could we set up a little photo taking station and do like something fun? I mean, that's the problem is my brain never stops thinking of ideas and things to do. This is a set the scene door panel. Looks like that. Hmm. Kind of like it, but I will leave it. And I'm gonna look at this pumpkin. Oh, its handle is missing all together. Yep, this is not an old one. So we will put you back up there. Okay, let's get over to the other side. Oh, this is apparently like the pumpkin side. Oh, what do you do? It moves. That's kind of creepy. Can you hear it? Okay. Happy Halloween. Uh, yeah, you are going to go to somebody else. This is just a really nice sized candy bowl, I gotta say. Goodness. Why is nothing priced? I don't like that nothing is priced. Like this. Like this. This will be fun for the booth if it's cheap enough because it is coming apart in a couple places. $3.99. No, that's too much. Too much for something coming apart. That's a interesting little... Yeah, but... I never finish my sentences, do I? Jack-o'-lantern. Jack-o'-lantern bowl. These are clip-on maple leaves. Now these, I like for 99 cents each. I'm going to grab those. And, ooh, one of these. I wonder if it works. People love these. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn it on. Oh, it works. Oh. Oh. Oh, I think we need this for $4.99. Yes, yes, we do. Oh, cute. I see another basket back here. It's just. It's a dollar ninety-nine for this one. I don't really like that one. Oh, is this a Sensi? It is. It's missing its top, so we're gonna go on the hunt for the top for this Sensi. It's four ninety nine. What are these? This goes on top of candles. It's a little. Oh, these little pumpkins are. Is it by itself? Yeah, I mean, but you have to buy Trying to potato. figure it out. Yeah. Nope. Doesn't really sit. Okay. Oh, there's another. No. That is Union awesome. Products, Inc. No. Nope. All right. I think our Halloween shopping is complete. Okay, now we're over in just the regular stuff. I've done, done my Halloween shopping. Ooh. See, this is what I gotta watch is like little dish type stuff that can go with. Oh, this is a music box, just like the one that Rachel was just given by one of my viewers. Only this one is a unicorn. And this one. Ugh, it's $7.99. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get that one too. Let's see what kind of plates are kind of hidden under here. These are really cute, but just collector plates just don't do anything. I mean, some do. I, I shouldn't just generalize, but for the most part, they don't. For the most part, you gotta stay way clear of collector plates. He's, he would make a good giveaway. You know what? He's gonna be a giveaway in one of my sales. I was coming up here to look at these guys. They do look vintage. They are Lund's Lights. I've had that brand before. So you've got the little Jesus and you got Mary, but we don't have Joseph. So this is Mary as a single mother. I mean, I guess I guess she could go with it. She really needs Joseph though. I wonder if Joseph is here somewhere. Just 
hanging out, hiding, maybe maybe a night on the town with his friends. We might come back for her if we find Joseph. He's caught my eye. They're not old. They're also $7.99 each. Then these caught my eye. What does that say? That says, what's in there? I can't read it. I can't read it. It's got a sticker, but I can't read it. Something gorgeous, gorgeous design. $4.99 each. We're gonna leave those two. Just not exciting enough. Ooh. It's the same maker. Same maker makes this one. <laughs> Just a little doggy sniffing my feet. Hello, little doggy. I can't read it. It's gonna drive me crazy. I know it's not glassy baby though. So I'm not too upset about leaving it behind, but I would like to be able to figure it out. But look at this little girl. She's holding a little baby bear. It's just $2.99, it is Odagiri. So I will pick that up. Okay, cute alert, cute alert. Holy smokes, look how adorable these are. They are salt and peppers. For $1.99, yes, you are so coming home with me. Oh, this is a really pretty perfume bottle, but it's $12.99, so we can't do that. That is really lightweight. Did not expect that to be so lightweight. I see a Coca-Cola tray here, $6.99. This is a fairly common one, and it's pretty scratched up. You can see, too, all the wear on the back, so. We will leave that for someone else and look at the wood leaf. It is $7.99 though. Just not, not exciting enough to spend that kind of money on. All right, I'm just on the other side of that shelf I was on. That's broken. These are marble, but they're just little small candle holders. $5 and $4, so we're gonna leave those. Kind of falls in what I was saying. It's something I'd have to list on eBay, and for that reason, I'll just leave it. But, oof, how did I miss that? It was right in front of me, and I missed it before. This is a gourd carved with sea turtles. Oh, it's $7.99. But you know what? The turtles win. Gotta get it. Spot this. I just sold one of these, and I just sold one of these for like $25, I want to say. It was an elephant, not a camel, granted, but I still think $8 is a good price for a leather camel bank. All right, let's look on the top shelf. Like, this is an old piece, but it's just not a valuable piece. It's pretty common. Doesn't have a lot of resale value. I think I got everything that I wanted to look at on the shelf. This is a cool paperweight, but it's a modern Pier 1. It was $15 at Pier 1. Now it's $3.99. Am I gonna be in trouble if I leave him behind? I feel like I am. I feel like that makes some of my decisions too. Okay, 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 okay. I'm gonna get the owl for four bucks. Got a piece of Wedgwood here. For $7.99, there is its mark. Oops, I had it upside down. So it is marked Wedgwood, made in England. It's very pretty, but it's $7.99, and Wedgwood is kind of a tough sell, I'm finding. I'm not even sure what these are. Made in Taiwan. And Kona something, I guess like trivets or plant holders or some such. <gasps> Oh, hello. We have a little enameled copper tray for 99 cents. Yes, please. Look at that. 
Look at this piece. Oh, look, it says something marsh pottery from 1984 for $4.99. Yeah, we'll take you. This is a really pretty plate. Uh, it is MZ Austria. But unfortunately, plates are a little bit of a tough sell, even these old ones. And while it will sell for probably about $20, uh, it, it'll take a while to sell, so I'm going to leave that one. And it does need to be listed on eBay, really. It really, really, really does. So that's why I'm leaving it. little ceramic fairy lamp. It's kind of sweet. Strong is the new pretty. I like that. Okay, still didn't find Joseph in any of this. Okay, let's see what's around the corner here. These kind of caught my attention. They do have $12.99 a piece on these. They're a bit intriguing, but they don't excite me enough to spend $13 a piece. So, I'm going to leave them. This is an Anderson's Pea Soup. This is a place I used to go. You've heard me tell, tell you that I used to spend my summers up in Carpinteria, and then up in Solvang uh, would be where the Anderson's Pea Soup was, and my aunt used to take me up there. So, this has a little pull for me. It's only two bucks because it's half price, because it's orange, so I'm gonna grab it. All right, we are kind of like in the wood, wood section. Oh, that's a little handmade. When he made a little, little purse kind of dealy there. Ooh, truck rope. I don't have a truck. I need the truck first. He will guard my way and guide my steps. That is a trinket box. Actually, why does it have this? Why does it have that? What would be? Oh, it's a music box. Precious moments. I would not have guessed that was a Precious Moments. It doesn't look like Precious Moments. Anyway, it's $5.99, so more than I want to spend on it. All right, let's look down here. Celsius Timber Toss. Who's got the button? All right, nothing under there. That's just a thing. It's another little handmade purse. Uh, cigar box. Little stand for something. All right, nothing exciting under there. Anything exciting under here? I do like the treasure chest. It's only $7.99. Hmm. It's very cheaply made though. Gotta tell ya. Uh, it's got snaps, opens up. Oh, and it's falling apart a little bit too. Okay, that helps me. Because I was torn, I got, I'm gonna say, I was torn for a minute. This looks like a handmade Harley Davidson thing. Made in uh, 2002, $5.99. It's personalized. I'm gonna leave it because it's personalized and it's not, it's a little warpy. It's not completely well done. My goodness, these shelves are kind of a hot mess. Ooh, cherries. Cherries what? Cherries. They came from Target. I'm trying to figure out what kind, what are they? They're wooden crate, will fit into your market center. Oh, they're play cherries. So that's like a toy, cherry toys. All right, very cute. Uh, I don't, well, I always do that. And then here I find something. Look at these sweet little vintage candle holders. Uh, do I get them or leave them? Do I get them or leave them? They are, I mean, these have been sitting in somebody's kitchen. They're a little on the grimy side, but they are super cute. Oh, it's got, it's got some damage. You know what? I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it. Leaving it behind. All right, we got the little 
metals, tins. I don't know what that would hold. But then I spot these now. These are, oh man, that is, that's grease. That is grease on the top of these. They are old ones though. That's the tea, coffee. Oof, they're so greasy. But they could be clean. Sugar, and this I'm gonna assume is flour, yes. $2, $2, $3. That was loud. I'm trying not to touch it too much because my hands are gonna be so greasy. And four, so four, seven, eight, nine. $11 for the set. I'm gonna grab that. All right, we've got some silver plate punch cups here. They are Oneida. And this is not marked. And this is, it's probably marked under there, but it's not very exciting. All right. Oh, nothing super exciting. Oh man, the Christmas here is all jam-packed on the shelves. Look at this big, huge Santa. Oops. I get him down here. No, he doesn't really stand up. Okay, Santa's got issues. I gotta put Santa up on top. Okay, we rehomed Santa so that we could actually see what was on the shelf. Lots of ornaments, nothing, they're like newer ornaments, nothing really exciting even in the baggies. I'm still hoping to find Joseph. I really want to find Joseph because then I'll go back and get Mary and Jesus if I can find Joseph. But I'm not seeing anything even remotely close. Not even remotely close. I do have a glass Rudolph. He's not, it's not very high quality. Okay. I don't think we're going to find, I don't think we're going to find Joseph. Lots of mugs, which I'm just not super motivated to be into the mugs today. So we're not even going to look real hard. You see a Disney tin. Much is the Disney tin. Not priced. They got a lot of stuff that's not priced. Hmm. It is a nice Disney tin. It's in good condition. Oh, made in Hong Kong, so it is vintage. So I guess we're going to put this in the cart and see how much they'll sell it to us for. All right, this is our last little bit of Christmas here. I do like the, I like the Canada geese. And if I get this, then uh, they're more likely to sell that other one to me for 99 cents each. So that's my strategy. This is another vintage tin. It is by Potpourri Press, but it is made in Hong Kong. It's only a dollar, so I'm gonna grab that one too. Okay, sadly no Joseph, so I do like the bread box though. I, do they still make bread boxes or are bread boxes just generally vintage? I just don't even know because I have never used a bread box. Can you believe that? We've got a chicken. He is $5.99. So we do not have a chicken. We will move over here. We have a horse. Oh, he's $9.99. He is metal. I don't know how old he is. I suspect he's a reproduction, but he's kind of a cool reproduction. Oh goodness, now I'm torn pretty beat up. You know what? I'm, this is hard, but I'm going to leave him because if I don't, I don't want Rachel to want him. <laughs> I know that sounds terrible, but, uh, she's got so many right now and she doesn't need that one and he's not that great. So yep, I'm going to be bad mom and I am going to leave that one behind. This on the other hand, I'm in love with. It is this cool lazy Susan for $15. All right, we are now over in the, I guess the vases and the, some pottery things. These are really cheaply made ones. Just, ugh, 
greasy again. This must all come out of the same greasy kitchen. I like these, but not for four dollars. Not for four. This this vase that this flower arrangement is in is a little intriguing, but it's kind of big and obnoxious and it's fifteen dollars, so I'm not even gonna get it down. We're gonna come over here. Got a chia pet. This is pretty. Pretty, but I mean it's not oh, I guess it's only a dollar. It's half price. It does have a nice look, and if I put a little flower arrangement in that, I think this would do well. So I'm gonna grab that. I grabbed a few things that I forgot to show you guys. Um, I got this guy. I'm hoping he works. He's a, I found out this is melted plastic is what they refer to this as. He's only $1.99. He probably glows in the dark too. And I got a black cat mug who is not priced, so we're gonna have to get a price on him. Just says figural cat mug from Walmart. I get it, he's from Walmart, but if he's only like, you know, a dollar or two, and I even sell him for eight to 10 at the booth, it's, it's no big deal. Then this is another piece, it's a coconut purse. And this came from, that's probably the wholesale price. That looks like our world market wholesale pricing of ten of twelve dollars so they'll price it a lot less than that and then these now at first you look at these and you're like okay what's so big about those well number one they're two dollars each they're made in poland made in poland which thought hmm you know what they're halloween ish two dollars each and i'm gonna take a chance on them all right, and now we're back to this. These are marbles glued on here, but if you ever find glass where this is built in to the piece, it could very well be a very nice Blanco piece. So always be on the watch for such things. That's a nice, oh, no, I thought it was actually the color of the glass. It's not, it is stained or flashed or whatever you want to call it. Paint it on, it's not the color of the glass. All right, moving on. All right, this is my I'm really, really not motivated section, but I'll look a little bit, just in case something super special got mixed in here. Because you never know, you never know. And I do find it interesting to look at a lot of the stuff, even though I have no intentions of purchasing it. You know, like this plate. I wanna know, I wanna know who done it. It's a Sakura. That's what it is. And I wanna know who does these cute little paisley looking, they feel like restaurant wear. They're so thick. They could be, but they're not marked. And Oh, I thought that was one piece of glass. It's not, it is two different pieces of glass, neither of which is really high quality. So, there you go. Another really pretty bowl. Zamo. Huh. Looks decent. Oh, now I know these are good. Are they buffalo? Who makes these? These are Cameo China. Cameo China. Not what I was hoping they were. I was hoping they were buffalo. If they were buffalo, I would have grabbed those. But they're not. I was just peeking over at the art and this guy grabbed my attention. Look at him. He looks like an original. He looks like he's a like a pencil drawing. I don't know. We're gonna investigate a little further. L. A. Berry. It's dragons. Come on, for two ninety nine. Look at this sweet little thing someone put together. It's got the gloves. It's got a buckle. I, I think that's. It looks 
This one looks like a shoe hook. I'm not sure what that key would be for. And then a little greeting. It's $7.99. I'm gonna get that. All right, I'm a little bit smitten by this piece here too. It's a little window that says fresh baked pies served daily for $2.99. So we're gonna grab that. Then I find this, I believe this is a vintage piece of stained glass with cardinals for $1.99. So I'm gonna grab that too. Does anybody know how to kind of restretch this canvas art? This one got a little got a little sloppy there, but I kind of love it. It's all the Dr. Seuss, like, but they're in like hardback, like original form looking. I mean, it's just canvas art. It's $3.99. I think I'm going to take a chance on it. Oh, what is this? It says fiance. 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 18 piece set. I want in there. I want to see what it is. I got to get in there. Oh my goodness, it's like a brand new set of dishes. What? Okay, hold on. I gotta get him out of here. Totally not what I expected. This is Budyansky Fayance. I guess now I gotta look it up and see if this is worth anything. I can find nothing and that just always kills me. So. I said it, if something is worth putting away for eBay, I'm going to get it. This is $7.99 for 18 pieces of this Budyansky Fayance, which I'm thinking could be Russian. I don't know. I got to get it and do a little more research. All right. Well, that was exciting. Kind of. <laughs> it's more exciting when you actually find a result and no but I don't think I can go wrong. Here is some luster, some very classic, made in Japan, Noritake. It's got the creamer and the sugar in there, and then it's got all these little pieces. How much are you? $10 though. <sighs> I think I'm gonna leave that. I'm gonna leave it. Ooh, it has no weight at all to it. Absolutely no weight usually a sign of low quality. I do like the little pears. American Adelier. You know, I have picked up that brand before and it has done well. Hmm. But you know what? Not today. I'm not going to do it today. Farm Fresh Sweet Butter. Looks like a hobby. Oh, yeah. That was me, that was me accidentally hitting that on the shelf. I will confess when I do handle something rough. I get a lot of comments about me handling stuff rough and I really don't. But that one, yep. That one I will, I will totally say yes. I boo-booed. But it's fine, it didn't break. Which is the good thing. See, that sounds really loud but I'm literally just scraping it along the edge so that I can get to the corn platter. Look at this corn platter. Oh my goodness. I love this corn platter. It's got a couple of little dings. Who makes this stylized? It went 10 bucks. I would be tempted if it didn't have the damage and the chips. I gotta tell you. But because of that, I'm going to leave it. Just like I'm gonna leave this big old honking thing down here that caught my eye too. Ooh, it's felted on the bottom. It's cool, but not cool enough to end up in the cart. But these dragonflies, on the other hand, contemporarypottery.com. Hmm. $7.99. I wonder if they priced the two pieces separately. Why do I feel like they did? Something just tells me they did. Watch, let's see. Yes, they did. So it's $10 for that piece. And $8 for that piece, even though it's part of it. Oh, that's a big orange bowl. Just a big orange bowl. Ooh. Who makes those? Boots and Barclay. I can get their dog dishes. They had some weight. I didn't expect them to 
have that weight to them. Oh goodness, there's that bird brand again. I just found this bird brand the other day and was pulled by it. But I'm gonna leave it. I wish this had its lid. I wish this had its lid. One fish, two fish, are you kidding me? Or I wish it was cheaper because I'd make a flower arrangement. I still might make a flower arrangement out of this. Yeah, I gotta. I gotta save this and turn it into a flower arrangement, don't you think? I think I do. Okay, we got a big bowl here that's a false graph made in Thailand. Thailand false graph is newer false graph. USA is the older false graph that still can retain some value. Some of the some of the things can. Hand painted by Angelus. California. So they're California pottery pieces. They're four dollars each. There's this little guy. Hmm. Just don't think there's enough value there. I really don't. If there is and I'm wrong, then somebody hopefully will watch this and go snag it. And I am perfectly okay with that. I'm feeling for it, whether it's cut or pressed. It's an old piece, but it's a single. Eh, nothing else exciting. Well, you know, I always skim through the plastics looking for old Tupperware or, you know, anything that kind of catches my spidey senses. And I'm not seeing anything today. I just found all these. They are actually Royal Albert Old Country Roses little uh, boxes and they're half price. So they're 50 cents each. Those gotta be worth something. Let's see what's going on in the glasses. Oh, you know what? I have a single one of these at home that needs a friend. $1.99, I'm gonna grab him. I like when that happens. I've just been waiting to complete that little set. Those are vintage for sure, but it's not super exciting to me. I mean, I just love, love, love being able to complete sets. It does my heart good. These are in a little bit of rough shape. I think I saw these the other day. They say Mexico on them. Not the other day, but several, several videos ago. Ooh, I see something pretty. And I see two of them. We've got that one. And we've got that one. And they are buck fifty each. These could be like a pure one. They're known for doing some of the swirly stuff. So I am gonna grab those. Okay, now I just spotted these guys. Oh gosh, what is the cartoon? These are from Arby's. They're the um, BC Ice Age Collector Series. Hark, hark. Something in my memory bank says that these are good. And uh, they went five bucks each though. I don't know if they're that good. Okay, gonna have to look these up. Sadly, I mean, they're a decent seller, but you can't pay five bucks a piece on them. So if somebody wanted these for themselves, that's a good price. Or if they're still here on half price day, which is coming up, 250 is not bad for resale. Okay, and then I just spotted these. I know, these are not old. They are just fun, 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 but they, well, they'd be $2.50 each. Even that, I think, is a little steep, even though those are ridiculously cute. No can do. Okay, this piece of furniture just caught my eye. Look at the mosaic panels on the front. This is so 70s. Oh, that doesn't, that doesn't open. Probably opens. Oh yeah! Look at that Magnavox. Boy, that brings back memories. What a cool piece for fifty dollars. Love it. I'm over here in the toys, and I spot this guy who's very interesting. He is a Voro Voronaya, made in Russia. And so, because he's six dollars, I had to do a little peek and see. 
these sell for some pretty good money so we're gonna pick him up even though he's six bucks it was really really crowded over by the mugs and cups so I waited till I got over here to show you some that I picked out this is a, a vintage uh, color changing emoji mug it's only gonna be a dollar fifty because it's half price I just really got a kick out of this one my kind of man this one is a Forever 21. It's only 99 cents. And this one is just kind of cool. No pressure. It's got like a temperature gauge. It's only 75 cents. So those are the mugs that I picked up for today. I am also picking up this really realistic looking seal plush. Uh, it doesn't have a tag. But just because it's so high quality and so real looking, I'm going to pay the $4 for this little guy. And last but not least, I found a wonderful Horton Here's a Who, Dr. Seuss. And he is Dr. Seuss brand. A lot of times you'll find these Dr. Seuss plush and they're Kohl's. This is not a Kohl's Cares. This is the Dr. Seuss brand. So I'm going to pay the 4 bucks for him. Well, once again... I have got a completely full cart, top and bottom. I really didn't set out to do that. I really didn't. That's, and I feel like I was pretty picky, but well, there you go.
okay, what just happened? I did not intend to buy that much, but got some really great stuff. I don't know if, I don't know if the, the big gnome showed up in, in, you might've seen a big gnome in my cart. I don't think I filmed him. He's totally, totally the perfect size to go with those mushrooms that Jordan bought several videos ago, several months ago. Um, the big concrete mushrooms that are red and white and he's a red and white gnome. Gotta do it. I gotta do it. Um, she sold me the coconut purse for $1.99, the witch's brew bucket for $1.99, and what else did I have that did? Oh, and the, the pumpkin covered basket for $2.99. So yes, those are, those are the prices that she came up with when I checked up. So that was only my first stop of the day and my car is half full. We, we, I, I was careful. I left stuff behind. It's just really good stuff. <laughs> I cannot wait to get moved and get my operation back up and running so I don't have to feel guilty about these shopping trips. I feel a little guilty right now. Not a ton, just a little. Uh, so, okay, we're off to store number two, but you will have to come back to see that one. At subscribe, hit that little bell notification, and YouTube will tell you when that video goes up. Also, if you guys would do me the greatest favor in the community tab, there is a link to go and vote for the, vin the fantastic vintage market as the best antique shopping in Las Vegas. If you could please, please, please head over there, give us a vote, and you know, you don't even have to have been there because I have shown you the tour. So you can say, yeah, looks good. I know you don't even have to give any reasoning. You just need to vote for it. And you can vote daily. This is going through the 30th of September we have to collect those votes. So from the bottom of my heart, I would truly appreciate it if you could make the fantastic vintage market number one for antique shopping in Las Vegas. That would be awesome. All right, with that, I'm going to head to store number two. You go be profitable and make it fun. And we'll see you on the next one. Yeah.